Well, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Nick here with Ryan and Ty. So, what's up? Rolling along with the Halloween marathon. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Scared me. I like that. <laughs> uh, today we have Atlanta Rhythm Section. What? <laughs> <laughs> the rhythm Section. Okay. <laughs> I'm inducting them. Okay. Uh, I've never heard of this band before. Oh, me neither. Um, oh, that's a band? What? I thought it was like I an did orchestra. Too, I did too. I was like, what? That's why you say, when you say rhythm section, I'm just thinking, you know, orchestra. Atlanta rhythm section or ARS. Everything can be abbreviated. That's right. Uh, as an American Southern rock band formed in 1970 by Rodney Justo or Justo. Uh, he's the singer. Then you have Barry Bailey on mm, guitar. I like that name. Uh, Paul Goddard on bass. Goddard. Uh, Dean Daughtry. On keyboards. What's up with these <laughs> double letters? <laughs> what's that called? What's what's that called? Alliteration. Yeah, alliteration, yeah. Uh, Robert Nix on drums and J.R. Cobb on guitar. They have opened up shows for The Who and The Rolling Stones. Mm. Uh, and they also did an outdoor show with the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> They've had a multitude of different members and several deaths, but they are still going today with the current lineup. Now, the song we're doing today is called Spooky. Now, this was actually suggested last year, and I've seen it pop up again this year, so I was like, yeah, it's time. Let's do it. Obviously, none of us have ever heard of this song. We don't think. Now, <laughs> here's the funny thing. Uh, when we were on vacation, the first place we went to eat, as far as like all of us going, was called Lulu's. And there was a guy playing music, a solo act. Uh, and while we were waiting, which was like, what, 40 minutes or something, something like, like that. that, I was kind of like half paying attention to the music in the background. And I just remember him saying something like a ghost. And I was like, that's interesting. It's an interesting lyric. And then I heard, like, Spooky mentioned, and I was like, oh, you know what? It's that song. So I tried to, like, tune it out after that. I know you guys were really I didn't pay attention at all. I had no idea what you're talking about. But I, I heard him. Because, like, when he was finished, he was like, a little Atlanta rhythm section. And I was like, it's that song. But, you know, I, I just, I didn't really hear it, though. So yeah. I, I still don't know what it sounds like, really. Spooky is originally an instrumental song. Performed by saxophonist Mike Shapiro. It was written by Shapiro and Harry Middlebrooks Jr., which first charted in 1967. It was then covered with lyrics by the group Classics IV, or Classics 4. It has also been covered by Dusty Springfield, The Velvet Monkeys, wow. and Daniel Ash. Uh, it has become a Halloween favorite. So I'm, all, I'm always interested when a song is covered multiple times because that means... Uh, Probably good. People like it yeah. for whatever reason. People gravitate towards it. Uh, this is from the eighth album, Underdog, released in 1979. So let's get into it. This is Atlanta Rhythm Section. Spooky. I like 
this. Yeah, yeah. this is smooth. This is nice. <laughs> it's more uh, smooth than spooky <laughs> to me. <laughs> yeah, it does sound a little spooky, though. Do -do 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 -do. He's doing, you know, those minor tones, so right. he's giving a spooky feeling. Really like his voice. Smooth as butter. Maybe they should have called this song Smoothie. There's no doubt about it. This is as smooth as a Georgia Pete's smoothie. Mm. Never had it. Never had it either. Sounds amazing. Never had one either. Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone sent us some. It kind of has a, a laid-back jazz feel to it. I would say along with Southern Rock. But like you said, it's also kind of groovy, too. This does have a 60s flair to it. Yeah. You know, like I say all the time, hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like, hey, man. I can just, That's I all just, you have to say. <laughs> I just imagine a guy like walking in, he's like pointing at everybody. He's like... You know, so he does one of those, he's just pointing and walking. And it's a fellow loves a Jew, it's for sure a little alley, a wink and wink. I get that news, cause I don't know where I stand. And then you smile and hold my hand. Love is kind of crazy with a spooky little girl like you. Yeah, now it's going a little quicker now. Yeah. I, th I think that's a smart decision because as relaxing as that groove is, do -do 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 -do, I feel like that could get a, that could uh, kind of get old. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it seems like a very um, limited groove to me. And that's not really their fault. I'm guessing that's like the, the original song. I'm guessing that's what it was. Just a real, real smart so that uh, your ears just hear something new. Just to switch it up a little bit. And when I'm hearing that, it kind of reminds me of a few different songs. A similar groove to Eric Clapton's Cocaine. Uh, and there's a... You never heard of that song? No. Really? No. I don't know much Eric Clapton. Oh, wow. I haven't dug into that rabbit hole yet. <laughs> like, of course I haven't heard Cocaine. Yeah. Don't listen to Don't that. put that on me. <laughs> and it also sounds like... Um, Tommy James and the Shondells, Crystal Blue Persuasion. Yeah, I definitely don't know that one. That's in Breaking Bad. Well, then I've heard it, <laughs> but I don't remember it. <laughs> and I know for a fact, I don't know if it's this song, but it, it sounds very similar. Uh, Guru from Gangstar, uh, I think he made a solo album. It was kind of like a jazz rap type of album, and I'm pretty sure he sampled uh, that groove right there, except it was just kind of uh, pulled like earlier. It wasn't like the whole thing. But uh, let me know if I'm right about that, though. My point is that pattern just sounds very similar to a lot of other music I've heard. It's like some extra chords in there. I'm gonna tell you all that my heart's been a to the same.
That was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. Yeah, that, that was nice. really cool. I I didn't expect it to go from uh, second guitar solo to keyboard solo, then a different guitar solo, yeah. and then the duel, and then everything coming in. That was yeah. that was nice. That was nice right there, man. I tell you what, uh, the clean tones from that the first guy on uh, the first guitar, man, those were some nice pinches right there. I mean, that just sounded crisp. Yeah, was it was so crispy. Nice. I was expecting the quality <laughs> to be not great on this video, but actually it was really good. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I mean, the visuals was like, what, 480 or something? So <laughs> the visuals was definitely outdated, but the, the sound was But the was sound was, was 4K, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely a playlist. Yeah, that's I, an easy playlist. Uh, I, I really don't have too many gripes about that. If, if they would have kept that same... Do, 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 do. I would have said they leaned on that too much, but the fact that they brought that up in the second verse, uh, very, very smart decision. Uh, I think what does it for me the most, though, is like I said, just the, the combination of influences that you hear in here. Uh, southern rock, a little jazz, uh, a little blues, and then and then the Hey Man 60s. Yeah, the, Hey Man. The, the grooviness. <laughs> uh, and then just the, the undertone, ooh, just to give it... That little bit of spookiness. Just a very interesting uh, blend of genres. Yeah, easy playlist for me. Thumbs up. I did really like the song. Something else that I was visualizing, though. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm all about the visuals. Yeah. So yeah, you always I just imagine, things. like, you know, like those old uh, Halloween movies where it's a big, giant party in, like, a, a, a gym or something. They always have a band playing. And I can see the song being played. And yeah. it's like... And then the guy's walking Halloween around. Movie. Yeah, and there he, the guy's walking around. He's like, he's like looking around, see who's there. And yeah. then he, and he sees the girl he likes. He's like, oh. he like, you know, he gets scared. You know, it's just, you yeah. know, I can go yeah. on. You know, what I'm saying, but yeah, I, like I said, if a song can give me visuals. It's a good song for me, so it's easily playlist. Yeah, I, I can totally see that. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Like it's a, you're watching a Halloween movie, and it's like there's a teenage party or something. Yeah, and this yeah. is on in the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I definitely don't remember this guy at that restaurant playing this. <laughs> yeah, I don't um, So I, I don't remember it. It is going to play us. It is fire. Uh, but I couldn't picture that guy singing. You know, just I just remember. Yeah. Oh yeah, because yeah. he was singing that type. Yeah, he was yeah. singing a lot of southern rock. He was really bluesy, so I do re I do remember his voice, and I can see him singing this. So yeah, he did like four Leonard Skinner songs. Yeah, <laughs> Ty, Ty was gonna walk up to him and say, "Hey, do Simple Man," because he kept on asking for requests. Yeah, and as soon as Ty was walking up, he, he played like, Simple Man. Yeah. <laughs> It was Destin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys are really paying attention to the lyrics, but what do you think the song is about? Because if, if I have a hypothesis. <laughs> I, I wasn't paying too close to the lyrics. You got lost. Well, let, me, let me hear yours and I'm going to say mine. Uh, I just think it's somewhat, well, I'm guessing a guy because he says spooky little girl. Yeah. Um, a guy is interested in this lady, uh, maybe even dating, but she happens to do some odd things here and there, things that he really can't... Uh, comprehend not necessarily crazy stuff just kind of like hmm you're acting a little strange sometimes but i kind of like it <laughs> you know what i'm saying i yeah i was thinking of like uh this like a guy sees a girl like she robs banks or something or she's like just she has, or she has like a dark side maybe yeah she has like a dark side and he's like he just doesn't know what it is you, you know, but it makes maybe crazy. I'm a, yeah. Maybe it I'll just be crazy. a little dark with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's what that's what I was thinking. <laughs> if you decide someday to stop this little game that you are playing, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you all what my heart's been a dying to say. A dying. A dying. <laughs> so a dying. It seems like you know he's either waiting for her to come out with the truth, or he kind of. He, he wants to be on that dark side. He likes it. Like yeah, yeah. So, yeah, thank you for the suggestion. Uh, interested to hear Good song. Uh, what else they have to offer. That was that was just really, really cool. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like. And as always, please tell us your views. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.